the forehead of your robot. We've all heard of SpongeBob, haven't we? Well, I have. But today, I am going to be talking about a cursed episode called Sponge Thing. The episode was described that it aired only one time on TV at 3.33 a.m. on June 6, 2006. Not many people have heard about this episode, because those who watched it, died shortly, without no one having a clue what was going on. However in 2020, a YouTube user by the name Wide Eyed Wise Guy found the tape in a dumpster, and uploaded it on October 31st. The episode currently holds over 13k views as of February 18th. With that out of the way, let's get on with how it starts, shall we? The episode started with the intro that starts normal at first. But after Patchy the Pirate says, Are you ready kids? And, I can't hear you! You would hear a very loud scream that sounds like if it was in an old scary flash game. Patchy then sings, but then cut off by static, immediately cutting the scene and instead, showing Spongebob's door half open while an eerie sound is being played. At a split second, you could see an image of Spongebob looking in the kitchen with red eyes that looks like if you stare at it, it will blink. It cuts to Spongebob crying in the kitchen, then cuts to the Spongebob Squarepants intro ending. But what was weird about the ending title was that it was changed. Instead it was written, no one is safe, and a shadow of Spongebob appears. After that, it cuts immediately to a black screen, and after that, to the title card with the normal music. But when it showed the credits, it would say, all life must be consumed, and, assimilate. After the title card and the credits were finished, the bubble transition appeared. The episode started with the Krusty Krab in the night with the text open forever that was blinking slowly. There were grey and creepy clouds in the sky, and the atmosphere gave off the sense that someone was there. It then cuts to the kitchen, the wind since the episode started, you can hear it very clear. The camera pans to the left side as there is a muffled voice from inside Mr. Krabs' office. Inside there was Mr. Krabs scared and tied up in his office chair by Squidward with a chainsaw mask, and Spongebob that only had half of his body cutted, with the tentacles being shown. After Mr. Krabs asks what they are doing and why they kidnapped him, a creepy Mr. Krabs with a chainsaw appeared. Out of the door there was fire. The more Mr. Krabs then tortured and killed the other Mr. Krabs. But it didn't show what they did to him, it showed only the Krusty Krab. The camera then pans away from the scene of the Krusty Krab, and a bubble transition cuts to SpongeBob's house. The Suicide Mouse.avi music then starts playing in the background. SpongeBob was watching TV and eating popcorn. He was watching the news on his TV, and on the screen was Red Mist Squidward with red eyes, from SpongeBob in Random Land, flickering while the eerie music continues to play in the background. Suddenly his seashell phone started ringing. He said to Barry, I'll get it, Gary. And he went to answer who it was. When he picked it up, he said, Hello, SpongeBob's house, SpongeBob speaking. He heard someone breathing on the other side of the phone. He then replies, Hello? The scene cuts to a creepy SpongeBob with black eyes in a telephone booth. He was breathing creepily and was the one from the other side of the phone calling the other SpongeBob. The creature finally spoke with, Hi, SpongeBob, it's your mother home. SpongeBob then said, Mom? Then a flashback of SpongeBob's parents who are being scared appeared with the creature laughing evilly, as if what he was gonna do to them. The next scene after that shows their heads on the anchor. SpongeBob's mother, on the right, had only one eye missing, and his father, on the left, had one part of the chainsaw on his forehead. His mouth was also spilling out blood, and there was blood dripping from their heads in the anchor. SpongeBob then says, Where's my parents, you the creature at the phone appeared in the scene smiling creepily and telling other creepy things. SpongeBob, scared, closed the call and put the phone down. He went in the kitchen and after what he saw, he started screaming. There were the remainings of Mr. Krabs when he was chainsawed in the Krusty Krab. The creature appeared in the scene, then turning to SpongeBob and telling him. I've been waiting for you! SpongeBob, in front of him, gets immediately scared. The scene showed the creature's eyes. His eyes looked like as they were draining out blood from behind the blackness. 
Suddenly all of SpongeBob's friends appeared on the creature's eyes. There was Mr. Krabs floating screaming in the eyes, then Squidward, Patrick and Sandy. The scene then showed SpongeBob scared with the creature's shadow that was mutating, like in the movie The Thing. And when he looks up, the creature mutated and what was in his body wore Sandy, Squidward, Patrick and Mr. Krabs' bodies. The creature's face had a long tongue sticking out. SpongeBob then started screaming. And before you know it, the kitchen lights were flickering and flashing for one second, and the creature eats him. With a crunch, it ends the episode. The screen then cuts to black for a few seconds and the credits came. But what was there was really creepy. The credits song was reversed, it was slowed down, it was pitched down, and the text on some of the creators who were part of the show were glitched. It went to static and after that the final scene showed the color bars, then zooming out of the TV. And in negative color, Patchy the pirate finally spoke with a low creepy voice. That's it. That's the last episode. And with that, he gets angry with steam coming out of his ears. The last scene then shows a text image written, Happy Halloween, with a final splat. The episode is still up to this day, which will be left with a link to it. Beware after watching.